So Google just dropped a brand new AI model. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that this might be the biggest upgrade to us editors and content creators since masking became automatic. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Google's Nano Banana Pro. It can turn real world locations into technical drawings, recreate thumbnails with perfect text, generate hyper accurate diagrams, and help you pull off effects that used to take hours in seconds. And the best part is that it's directly built into Artlist. Let me show you how to use it and some incredible use cases for it. So this is where it gets scary good. Most AIs up until now have kind of struggled with a real world interpretation of things. Locations feel AI-ish, faces feel reconstructed or cartoon-like, but Nano Banana Pro, well, it is something that fixes this and Google terms it broader real world knowledge. That means if you ask it to generate a real photo of something, it can do a near perfect job. Or if you give it a photo of something real, like the pyramids of Egypt, it can transform that photo into, well, anything. By going to AI image, image to image, and uploading a reference image of my pyramids, I'm then gonna type in my prompt. We could then download this generated image, open up our editing software, and create a really cool match cut effect like this. But what that real world knowledge also means is that we can create something called deep fakes. I've uploaded a reference image of myself and I've asked Nano Banana Pro to take us into Times Square, New York City, arm in arm with Kai Sinat. And we'll see that it's taken everything from my jersey to my face and now we are standing arm in arm with Kai Sinat. What I find incredible as well is if you look at both of our faces, the light source that it's implying in the image is coming from the right hand side of the screen and that's pretty clear on both of our faces. We can also see that the shadow that it's put on my jersey from Kai's face really does resemble his face with the beard and everything. Let's go ahead and upload a different reference image. This is one that I literally took a few minutes ago while sat at my table. I'm gonna upload it to the reference image. I'm gonna type in my prompt. And let's say for this one, we wanna be sitting with Barack Obama at McDonald's, enjoying McDonald's. Firstly, Barack Obama looks exactly like Barack Obama. And I think personally myself, I look super consistent with the photo that I gave it. I did do another version of this and I really like this one more because it's actually got the words Big Mac on the Big Mac box. Overall, I'd give this a nine out of 10 for realistic look. If I was nitpicking, I'd zoom in and say that my eye looks slightly different to what it is, but everything from my glasses to the shape of my head, to my hair, to my beard, I don't exactly know what Barack looks like in person, but I really do think this has done an incredible job at creating a deep fake. But what all of this means, this real world knowledge, this ability to create and take places and people and transform it into things, is that us editors can use this to enhance our editing and our videos. We can now build visual sequences that look like they came directly out of a high budget documentary. If you want to match cut from reality to a technical plan, it becomes super easy because your technical plan can be generated in 10 seconds. Also, if you need a stylized world map for a travel documentary, well, again, that becomes so easy. But as crazy as this real world understanding is and all the use cases for it, there's something else that blew my mind arguably even more. And that's the text and accurate text rendering of Nano Banana Pro. AI models have always been terrible at text. Misspelt words, melted letters, nonsense phrases, and just pain, up until now. Nano Banana Pro finally fixes that. It renders text exactly how you write it. And there's some cool use cases for this. I love how this thumbnail looks from Vince Giang, and all credit to him. But what I did was, I took it and I uploaded it directly into Artlist. I then uploaded my reference image and typed in my prompt. It then generated this. What I love about this is this looks pretty much exactly like me. It's kept storytelling the same. It's kept the made simple the same. It's placed the post-it notes behind our subject and the colors are consistent to that of our reference. Overall, I think it's done an absolutely incredible job at recreating that thumbnail that we loved and putting us in it in all but 20 seconds. As cool as this is, what if we also wanted to make some variations of this thumbnail to see what potentials there could be? I could go ahead and hit this transform image button, remove these other references, and type in the prompt create variations of this YouTube thumbnail. Now, I don't necessarily like that it's put me in the middle here, but this gives us a fantastic reference for some different thumbnail options that we could use while still maintaining a similar theme to that original reference. But this text accuracy also means that we can do something else that's cool. And I asked Nano Banana Pro to transform this image of me and Barack Obama 
into a blockbuster movie poster. But what's incredible about this is because of that text accuracy, it's given us a perfect placeholder for if we wanted to transform that image into an actual movie poster. So whereas we may not use this exact reference, we have that placeholder and we know where those titles would go. And what if our video wasn't about storytelling, but rather film secrets? With perfect accuracy, it's removed storytelling from it and it's embedded film secrets directly into that image. And just as another note, we've now generated four or five images from that original image, and we can see that our face is consistent with how it was in the beginning. So ultimately, this turns Nano Banana Pro into a thumbnail designer that you can brainstorm with. And if you're a creator trying to improve click-through rate, well, that's gold. Because Nano Banana Pro specializes in diagrams and infographic style detail, you can now build what would usually require After Effects without ever opening the program. Switching over to text to image, I'm gonna place in my prompt for a visual trend of the US stock market over the last 30 years. Combining that world knowledge, its accuracy on text rendering, and the specialty in creating infographics, in a couple seconds we have the stock market trends for the last 30 years. I didn't have to lift a finger or design this at all. A simple prompt, and here we have it. Or maybe I wanted a technical drawing of a MacBook Pro because I was doing a new 2025 MacBook Pro review. Overall, I think it's done an all right job. Some of our icons are a little bit mangled. It's also put three USB ports here where in reality there's only two, so we would need to request that change. And really the possibilities are endless with this. And here are a few more examples of things that I designed while I was just playing around with the software. In this reference, I took a logo and asked Nano Banana Pro to embed it or blend it onto my shirt so that it still looks realistic and like the logo is on my shirt. I think it did a really incredible job. I also asked it to create this military tactical map based on a reference drone image that I actually took and I really love the product that it produced. We also brainstormed some thumbnails for this exact video using the text to image feature and whereas I may not use these in the end product, it was great to brainstorm those and have a great starting point. So the reason this matters to us editors and content creators is that this isn't just another AI model or an AI tool. It nails text, it's consistent, it handles realistic details, and most importantly, it gives us that creative control over those fine details so that we can adjust things with consistency. If you're an editor or a content creator, you really are gonna wanna start playing with this as soon as possible. The sooner you do this, the bigger that gap becomes between you and everybody else. There's a link in the description to Artlist where you can access this tool, and I recommend you start playing with this. I'll see you in the next one.